Hello everyone, another weekly vlog. I've got here some uh, parcels that have been delivered and I've not opened them. I thought I'd share that and we'll do it all together. I've got a few parcels. Um, I don't normally get, I might get the odd one a week, you know. But today I've had one, two, three, three parcels come. And I know definitely what one of them is, but the other two I'm not sure. So I'm quite excited, quite excited to open them and I thought it'd be nice to uh, do it together. I've also bought a couple of bits as well that I'm going to share with you. So this is going to be an unboxing. Day one we're going to do a little bit of unboxing. Um, first item. I've got is my bulb planter. I've got loads to do in the garden. I need to dress some of the pots. I've got plants that need repotting. And I've never done a winter garden. Um, so I'm gonna plant lots of bulbs and different plants. I really want the garden to have a little bit of color through the winter. And I've never done it before. Um, our garden's tiny so it's not going to take a lot to do so I've never planted bulbs before so I don't know how I'm going to get on but I thought I knew I needed a bulb planter I've got this on uh, Amazon it was only a couple of pound um, I looked in the shops locally and a lot of them were like 10, 15, 20 pounds and he said I bet you'll get that on Amazon for next to nothing and I did I think I paid four pound for this and maybe and free postage I'm pretty sure so I'm not complaining it's got this uh, press that in there and I suppose that opens the soil up or opens the bulb I have no idea so yeah we'll go out in the garden at some point when it's dry when it's dry and uh, do some planting now this item I bought myself, I don't know if, I think I spoke about this in the blog last week, I know I featured it on my website, but I wanted a nice umbrella this year, um, and if I ever do photos in, um, you know, with umbrellas, you can't really ever see me properly, so I thought, clear, and that, uh, I, I found this one again on Amazon and I, I absolutely love it. It's gold on the bottom. It's got a lovely gold and clear handle. And are you superstitious? Should I? Shouldn't I? <gasps> My mum would go mad if I put this up. I'll tell you what, we won't put it up completely. Um, it does actually have the the button so that it springs straight up I'm gonna do oh I won't put it right up but look I think it's great it's a cute little posh umbrella and this is really thin I, I'm hoping it's thinner than I thought it was gonna be so I'm hoping that it's gonna be a little bit half wearing and not fall apart like it feels it's going to so I'll keep you posted on that. I'll leave the link below to it anyway. But I absolutely love it. I thought it was a real quirky little piece. Just been taking photos in the garden actually. Pop a photo up and uh, you'll see what it's like properly. The other thing I've just bought is um, this. I've just been to, uh, when did I go this morning? To B&M. And I bought this tray table. It caught my eye. Um, I'm often carting stuff upstairs. Me and Dee often have breakfast in bed. And I haven't got a tray. And it would be just so much easier to carry it all up. And I liked the idea of the table as well. It's going to be good for Instagram bits and pieces as well. £15. I think that's an absolute bargain at £15. Um, at the end of the film I'll... I'll take it out now because I've not even had it out of the box. Let's have a look and see what it's like. 
hope it's not going to be in a million pieces. Fits in. Mm. Not bad. And D often has a friend around to play cards as well, and I thought this would be good for that, maybe. I'm not a card player. Do you play cards? I like to play backgammon. I'm a backgammon girl through and through. Yep, it's in bits. <laughs> I don't believe it. Look, there you go. There's the legs. Oh. Why does everything have to come in bits? But there's the tray. Yeah, I mean, you know, even if I just use the tray, I think it's great. I've been looking in uh, TK Maxx and a lot of them are like 20 pounds and I thought you'd get a table with that as well for 15 pounds even if you do have to put it together yeah, yeah there's all the bits okay. oh my god it's as bad as I care anyway I'll put it up and uh, I'll put it all together and uh, we'll have a look later. I haven't got time for that now. Right. Now the exciting bit. They're all wrapped up, I've not opened them. Now this. Here's me. What would we do without these, eh? This, I'm pretty sure, is going to be jumper, yes it is, a jumper and a scarf, and this is from Cashmere Company, there you go, this is, uh, this is from a Cashmere Company, they do, it's expensive cashmere, it's not cheap cashmere. You can buy all different flies of cashmere. And I was very intrigued. They asked me if I'd like to um, try one of their jumpers and take a look. Oh, it feels absolutely gorgeous. So I've gone for a stone colour because obviously you know how I like my stone colours. And I've gone for a v-neck as well now all my jumpers are like this or roll necks and i thought no i'm gonna have something different this year and have a v-neck um it feels absolutely gorgeous i've ordered it in a large as well i didn't want it to be skimpy i want to ruche up the sleeves and make it look cozy and i think that's really nice feels amazing it's got very slim ribbing on it and on the bottom as well so it's not going to be a bunched up type of jumper it's actually quite square yes I like it you know when you invest in these pieces surely it's best to buy a colour that's going to go with everything and that's what I did I thought I'll get stone this is cashmere um, and I just love the feel of it. Beautiful. Looking forward to trying that. And I've got a scarf as well. There we go. So we've got a nice scarf as well to go with that. Oh. It's going to go with lots of colours in my coats. And <laughs> feels nice. It's lovely. It's got the tassels. I love it. Actually, these colours actually go quite well together, don't they? I've been out in the garden, so excuse my hair. Yes, love it. Thank you to the Cashmere Company. Right, now next is one that I've already opened. But, oh, this made me chuckle a little bit. It's not for me. It's for the dogs. Um, this is applause, and they 
they've developed something that will go on top of a dried food. Um, I don't know if your dogs are fussy like mine, they prefer wet food. But with this, it's called Taste Toppers. And this is like a soup, but it's made for dogs. And you'll get your dried food and you throw this over the top and it makes it nice and tasty. So I'm looking forward to trying the girls with these. This one is a bit more meaty. Um, chicken breast with broccoli, apple and quinoa. Qu quinoa. That's going to be different. I've got a couple of tins. Taste topper stew. Yeah, I look forward to giving them out. And of course then you've got all the gunk that comes in the box. I'll leave all the links below to this stuff anyway. Um, I don't know how much it costs, so I will have to have a look. Now this is intriguing me. I have no idea what is in this box. It doesn't say who it's from or anything. That's my blueberry again. Right, let's see what's in this one. And it's very well wrapped. Ooh. I don't even know if my... Oh, we have lift off. Feels like it's my birthday today. I always get excited when I get something like this and I don't know what it's going to be. It does make it feel like it's your birthday. I hope it's not something that Dee's ordered and I didn't know. <laughs> oh. oh, I know what it is. It's a jacket from um, Tisardi. Um, the Chloe Duke bag that I've got. I've got a picture of that up. And they asked me if I'd like to try something delicious. And I, I chose this jacket. Oh, it's beautiful. It's going to go with my new cashmere scarf as well. Yeah, so this is it. Best I'll try it on, eh? Oh, I love it. I was, really was debating on getting a cream coat this year for coat but I'm always in the car mainly I might walk into town every now and again but I just see this and I thought it looks so posh actually it's got a nice waist nip in there and it's wool and oh it's just beautiful I, I like the patch pockets I shall try that on in a minute last box Again, no idea what's in this one either. I know I've got some makeup coming, but I wouldn't have thought this big box would have makeup in it. This is the thing, isn't it? They send the tiniest of things as well in whack and white big boxes. Such a waste. Come on. Oh, yes. from Cala. Lovely. Um, I had some ankle boots from them last year. They're just the most perfect everyday ankle boot. They're just like, I'll get them in two seconds. There you go. There you go. These are the uh, Cala Chelsea boots that I had last year. I wear them constantly. They're great with jeans, jeggings, 
um, they're so comfortable. This is the sort of thing that I walk into town in. Super comfortable. And I don't know if you know, Kala makes shoes for women with bunions. These are actually designed especially on the fronts here so that you don't get any rubbing on your bunions. I don't have bunions, but I love Kala shoes. And uh, yeah, totally recommend them. Very, very comfortable. I don't have bunions, but I've heard they're very comfortable for women with bunions. There you go. So let's undo the new shoes. Here they are, nicely wrapped as well. Now that would make a nice present, wouldn't it? Yeah, it slides off. They're doing the boots in uh, a cream suede this year as well. They're the same boots. And I think this could be the shoes. But I, I love this cream as well. Nice. Let's have a look. You get a posh dust bag with that. Let's take them off because I can't see in the screen if I'm in focus or not. Yeah, posh dust bag. Oh wow. Yeah, so there's like a special inner sole in there as well. This is all very cushioned. So these are the new shoes. Best I try them on. Yeah, like them. <laughs> they don't look too great with the green, but they're going to look good with, uh, like I said, faux leather trousers, stuff like that. I think they are super comfortable, I will say that. Lovely. Okay, I've got the jacket on. It's very snug. I love it because I'd most probably wear a normal top under this. I think it's going to look a lot better. Undone. You've got to remember I've got all this jumper bunched up. But I love it like that. I just love the shape. It's got a lovely nip in here at the waist. Very, very nice. I love it. The colour is just gorgeous. It's like a stony pale, not pale cream. Cream, no, I wouldn't call it cream. It's more like a stony beige. There's the back. It's got a pleat at the back there. Not really wearing the right outfit to, um, not really wearing the right outfit underneath. But... I don't know, I don't know if I should have got a smaller size. I, I personally think I will wear it more like this. And I think if I went up a size, then it would be too much. It would be too big. I like to be as fitted as possible because I'm short. And anything too baggy just doesn't look right. Love the pockets. Very, very nice. The detailing on it and the stitching, it's just... Gorgeous. We've got this detailing down the sides there. Very, very nice buttons. Just a very smart jacket. It's going to look good with the scarf, isn't it? And yeah, I really like it. It's lunchtime, I'm just about to pop into town. Uh, it's Wednesday and you could be watching this by this evening or tomorrow. Uh, we go into lockdown after today. Uh, don't know how you all feel about it. How do you feel about it? I'm pretty depressed. I just hope we get out of this lockdown by Christmas. Um, you know, I'm gonna miss the family and other than that it doesn't really make any difference to me I've got used to literally just doing my own thing with all the other restrictions but anyway so I'm just popping into town 
to do some last minute bits I might even pick up some uh, Christmas presents because I don't know if I'm going to be able to get them online so I'm going to have a mooch around town and see what I can uh, what I can find anyway onwards and upwards I'm not going to let it depress me the sun is shining and that is a blessing because we've had so much rain in the UK what's your weather been like but in the UK it has been awful I've literally tried to film a few times and I've had to put my bedroom light on and it just comes out yellow so I need to sort something out there but show you the outfit of the day there's a couple of things that I wanted to show you here um, I'm wearing my Balkan linen jacket uh, FNF black sweater FNF black black tortoise sunglasses um, mango trousers these are these are amazing these trousers I can see a bow hair or is that a cotton no it's a cotton oh I'll have to cut that off in a minute stick that up there hide it Laurie um, yeah I am loving these mango um, not mango I'm loving these H&M trousers, £17 and absolute still they fit beautifully. Uh, black Balkan belt with the gold buckle and my new Vionic shoe boots. Super comfortable, perfect for running around town. I've got to my ears, I am wearing the good old Bulgari Zero Hoops. I've had these years, years, and I love them. Um, and the other thing I wanted to show you was this. This is a phone bag from Ideal of Sweden. And I'm really impressed with this. It comes in lots of different uh, colors and designs. Uh, you get the strap. That's better, Laurie. So you get the strap that matches. Yeah, there's quite a few different designs on the website. Very impressed with it. And I'm sure they're going to be having Black Friday deals as well. Um, and please remember to pop over to the blog for the next couple of weeks because I've got lots of deals going on over there. But this is the uh, purse. It clips open. And there's your phone in there. You've got you've got your camera on the back of it anyway. And then this is magnetic, and that's the um, case. And I'm really impressed with that. So and you just clip it back on. It's a very strong magnet, so you have to check that your camera's in the right spot. Otherwise, if you went to take a photo, it could be skew with. But it is very strong and I think this is great for supermarket shopping and it looks nice as well and I'm so pleased with it yeah so check out the Ideal of Sweden uh, websites and I'll pop a picture up I've got a phone case with um, the ring magnet on the back a popper pop socket and uh, yeah, you'll get to, you'll get to see that as well. Very very impressed. I'm not sure if I've got a code or not. I need to check black on the blog for that. But yeah, I really like it. Anyway, I'm going to shoot into town. I'm going to leave the vlog here because that unboxing. I've just been editing that, and it's actually <laughs> quite long. As you will need all day to watch my film. Let's put you down. So thank you um, for watching and please subscribe if you enjoyed the film, there's lots more to come. Um, what am I doing next? I think I'm doing seven outfits. Uh, I think that's what it will be. Seven outfits of the week, what I wear on a weekly basis, some styling spo in there. Yeah, please give a thumbs up as well because uh, that really helps. So, see you next week.